Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use SimNet. When you log into Canvas and come to the home page for our PowerPoint class, there are two different ways in which you can log into SimNet. One way is to click the SimNet button down here in the lower area. So if you click that button, it takes you to a page that describes SimNet and has several different links that you can click on. The links are towards the bottom. If this is the first time that you're using SimNet, you should register your SimNet license if you haven't done so. If you click this link, it will show you how to do that. There's also a direct link here at the bottom where you can get to a login page directly into SimNet. This is what the login page looks like. Your username and password are things that you set up yourself when you registered your SimNet license. You can use the same username and password that you use for your SURF registration with Miracosta College, or you can pick some other username and password. At the very bottom of the SimNet page, there is a, an 800 telephone number you can call at any time for SimNet technical support. Now I know I said any time, but they do have set hours. I don't know what those hours are, but they're typically uh, Monday through Friday, the normal kind of business hours, 8 to 5, I think. Anyway, you can call the number and find that out. If you run into any technical problems with SimNet um, that I can't answer for you, then you should call tech support. They're very good and they'll walk you through resolving your issues over the phone. Going back to the home page in Canvas, I'm going to show you the second way to get into SimNet. Another way to get into SimNet, which I think is a better way, actually, is this link here, the McGraw-Hill SimNet link on the left. This link takes you to a page that it will, it will ask you to sign in, but once you sign in here, it will go directly to your PowerPoint class page. If you are taking more than one class that uses power, that it, sorry that uses SimNet, then this link here will make sure that you get to the page for this particular class in SimNet. So once you log in here, you'll see this page. This is your SimNet home page. The way I have it configured is there are three groups. There is the reading to do group. In there, you're going to just read the chapters. That is, if you want to read the chapters online, or if that's the only uh, book, book version that you have is the one that's online, this is where you go to read those chapters. This other group here, the second group, is called reading with SimNet tutorials to do. This is where you click if you have to read a chapter and are also required to do certain tutorials within that chapter where you're going to be graded on them. The third group over here is where you click when you are ready to take a test for our class. Now, these groups are changing all the time, meaning what I put into the groups uh, are added week by week throughout the semester depending on what it is I'm assigning you. So for example if you're ready to read a new chapter you would click here reading to do and it changes to this page which has just the chapters on it. Uh, right now at the beginning of the semester this is the first thing you can read if you want to. This is optional reading. This is the first chapter in your textbook that doesn't really talk about SimNet much, it's just a chapter that teaches you about Windows 10 and Office 2016 in general and how to manage your files on your computer. It's only optional reading, but I do recommend it if you're not what you would consider computer savvy. Over here on the second SimBook uh, orange icon is Chapter 1. So when you're ready to read Chapter 1, you would just click anywhere on this icon and it'll take you here. When you're ready to open your book, 
you can click right here in the blue link that says Open Simbook. You can also scroll down and just open one thing at a time if you want. Uh, these are the different chapters, sections in the chapters or different exercises, different parts of chapter one. But if you're ready to open the whole thing, you can click right here, Open Simbook. This is the beginning of chapter one, and as you read, you can scroll the page down as you are reading. When you get to the very bottom, click anywhere on the page to bring up this gray circle with the right pointing arrow in it and click that to turn to the next page. If you need to go back to a previous page on the left side, click the left pointing arrow circle. As you go through the book, these chapter pages are exactly the same as the ones in the physical printed book itself. And as you go through, and by the way, uh, just to let you know, some people have asked me this question, SLO stands for Student Learning Objective. So as you go through the chapter, you're going to come across things like this, how to. These are the how to's. These are little tiny uh, brief exercises that show you how to do uh, one by one different features and skills and things in PowerPoint. Very, very short and brief. As you can see, this is very short. And as you finish and go down even more, um, you're going to come across these colorful buttons throughout each chapter in the SimNet online version. You're not going to find these colorful buttons in the physical printed book itself because these are the online tutorials. You can click show me, guide me, or let me try, or all three. I'm not, not going to show you this in this video. There's a separate video I'm going to create that um, gets into those. So as you go through the book, you'll see a lot of little how-to's blurbs here and there with just a few steps in them and lots of these little guided tutorials. And eventually you're going to come across a pause and practice PowerPoint exercise. These are not required either, but I do highly recommend that you do these as you come across them online in SimNet or uh, in the physical textbook when you come to this page. Follow the, the instructions and do them because this is one of the key ways in which you can learn how to use PowerPoint. These are little mini projects and uh, at the beginning of the project it tells you what you're going to do and if there are files uh, involved that you need to use to do this little mini project they are linked right here. For example here's Marathon Info 01. This is a PowerPoint slide file that you would use for this mini project. You're not going to turn any of these in, but uh, I highly recommend that you do them because it's one of the key ways that you're going to learn how to use these features in PowerPoint. So do the pros and practice exercises if you can. There's usually two or three of them, sometimes four, but usually about three per chapter. As you keep going through the chapter, uh, you can get into additional pages and I need to show you how to uh, navigate once you're here. If you look up here in the upper left corner, there are these icons. If you click this book, it'll take you completely out of the chapter and back to your bookshelf. If you click this link, this brings up a pane that you can now where you can navigate through the chapter by just linking it. So if I want to go directly to this section here, Applying Properties, I can click that and the book will instantly take me to that part of the chapter. Another thing that this chapter pane can do is it can take you directly to any of the projects you want to try. Now these are the projects here where it says Guided Project or Independent Project. These are the projects from which I choose your main module project and I'll get into those on another video as well. So I'm going to close this pane here and I'm going to go back out to the bookshelf in just a moment but in the upper right corner I also want to point this out you can click this little capital A if you want to zoom in or out of the page. If you need to see large print you would click the plus sign. If you want the print to be smaller and zoom out you would click the minus sign. 
You can also uh, print any of these pages if you wish, or you can click the X to exit this reading area. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click that, say, yeah, I want to exit, and it will take me back out to the beginning of the book. From here, you see up here there are different links that you can do. There's a library link. If you click that, it takes you to a page that has all of the textbooks that you're currently using. Now, of course, I have a, as you can see, I have a lot more textbooks that you, than you do, but um, you will see your textbooks here, and you can just click on one book to open it. You can also uh, go to grades to see your grades, but there aren't too many grades that you're going to see in SimNet because most of what you do for this class is graded in Canvas and not so much in SimNet. If you click the Assignments link right here, it takes you back to your SimNet homepage. On the left side of the SimNet homepage, you may have noticed there are a lot of other links. Some of the links are going to work for you and some of them won't. For example, if you click Lessons, I don't build anything in that page, so you're not going to see any assignments or anything there. And also notice that when you click any of these links, the other links go gray, but you can still click on them even though they're gray. So you can click right here on Show All, even though it's gray, and it will show everything once again for you. If you want to go back to your uh, Canvas page, you should be able to just click a different tab at the top of your screen because when you get in, got into SimNet from Canvas, it opened up a whole separate SimNet tab in your browser. So you should easily be able to click the tab at the top of your page to get back to McGraw-Hill SimNet or Canvas. If you have questions, please do email me and I'd be more than happy to help you.